Hey guys, welcome back to Winging It. Sorry I really haven't been around much. Been kind of busy and whatnot. Um, lawn's pretty much into dormancy. Uh, cold out, quick growing. Got leaves on it. Mulched them up and whatnot. Got rid of those. And I'm pretty much ready for snowfall. I just changing the oil in the snowblower right now and mulched up a little bit of leaves to uh, run the gas out of the lawn mower so I can put that away for winter. That's typically what I like to do is I don't run treatment or anything. I just like to run the damn thing out of gas so then and the gas ain't the problem. I know some people say there's some left in the bowl and there is but you can always go through a carburetor every four or five years and it's not that big of a deal to me so <clears throat> if you just keep it clean don't run ethanol in small engines you're just fine kind of update you here i purchased the trailer um thinking about maybe uh going into business next year uh just mowing a few yards on the side um just a side gig but give me something to do. Maybe have a little tax benefit to it. Who knows? Let you know what's going on here in the garage. I just got done changing oil on this Cup Cadet. It's really simple oil change. Um, everybody's got an owner's manual on it, but you really don't need one. Got a little oil port there. You dump your oil out. You put enough in until it's good on the dipstick. 5W30, self-explanatory. Then changing the oil here on the Husqvarna, this is the Honda motor, which is the reason I bought this mower is because I had the Honda. Um, I did run it out of gas. I like to shut it off anyways, just in case you always got some that leaks out of the tank, it seems like. So I just sh shut her off. Replace your air filter if you need to. If it just needs blown out, do that. Easy maintenance. It's dirty right now. I'll blow it off and get it cleaned up. I did a, there is a wax on it, so it should blow off pretty nice. If you can see that. I know I'm scratching the paint, whatever. I don't care. Um, yeah, uh, this one, the oil goes in and out in the same spot, so it's kind of a pain in the ass, but Oh well, you gotta tip the damn thing over, and then you do what you need to do. Uh, it takes about a half a quart, actually, is all it takes. Um, but yeah, that's what's on the plan next, is change the oil on this one. That one's done. But guys, I uh, am thinking I'm gonna start mowing a few lawns on the side. But uh, I'm curious what you guys think I'm buying for a zero turn. I've been around zero turns. I'd not afraid of them. I know what they are. So, um, I, the prices I'm looking for is I either want a used commercial, which is around I want to spend thirty five hundred to four grand on a used commercial, or uh, go new residential and get me by for a few years. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts on that. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards a high-end residential. Um, there's a lot of similarities with them and the commercials. Um, you can pretty much get all fabricated decks with your residentials also. Um, but if the warranty's there and whatnot, I've, I've been looking at Toros, Hustlers, uh, Husqvarna's. Um, pretty much those ones. Uh, there was a John Deere, but I'm... They're all uh, stamp decks, and I'm not so sure I want to go with that. So let me know your guys' thoughts on what kind of zero turn I should look into. Um, I don't really want to purchase until January, but if the right mower comes along, I'm going to purchase it this year yet. Um, like I said, I already got the trailer and stuff, and I'm working the kinks out of starting business. So um, other than that, thanks for watching.
uh, like, subscribe, share, follow, whatever you want to do. Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on a zero turn. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.